Yesterday, Omoya Lesowari made some grievous allegations against uh, the leaders of the NSAS protest. Uh, it was carried in the papers. I'm sure you probably read it. Uh, he accused them of taking bribes in uh, the billions. His actual words were, and I'm going to read it out exactly. He says, I will not be part of any negotiation regarding NSAS. Many have entered into these negotiations and come out on the other side becoming billionaires. To them, it is a game. The only negotiation I will ever engage in is that of the surrender of our oppressors. Hashtag revolution now. Now, this is completely untrue. It's a lie. You know, you can see what he's just done. In the tweet which I just read, he used the hashtag NSAS at the beginning and he discredited it. And then he went and he talked about his own hashtag revolution now and then he hyped it up. You see, Omaya Lissowari is just pained that revolution now flopped. And that NSAS protest, hashtag NSAS protest, is a major international success. Now, he's got a big ego and he would like to lead the movement. But because he was denied that opportunity, now he's now making these spurious allegations. I've investigated it, and not just me, I don't want to mention names, but major people have investigated this. It, they found out that it's completely untrue. They've been feeding uh, information to the media. It is not true. Now, I'll tell you what's happening. Omoya Lesowari had his own revolution now, and revolution now did not go through. We have the NSAS protest. It doesn't have any leader. It's a nationwide mass people-oriented movement, and it came up spontaneously. Now, nobody is going to discredit this movement and put the emancipation of Nigeria at risk. Absolutely nobody. Omoya Lesowari is a common blackmailer, and I'm sure a lot of you know this fact. He's tried to blackmail me before. He's blackmailed so many other people with his Sahara reporters. They write lies, and they're not writing lies innocently. They know it's lies. They put it out there to blackmail people. I don't know what he wants to gain from this, but what I'll tell Nigerians is this. I have a sworn affidavit from a former spokesman of the APC who said that they met with Omoya Lesowari in the run-up to the 2015 elections at APC headquarters. They, had, they held meetings with him. You know? And Omoya Lesowari is just like Festus Kayamo. He was hoping to be made a minister by Muhammad Buhari. And so when Muhammad Buhari came in, on board, won the election and did not make him a minister, it was after he came out with his ministerial list that Omoya Lesowari had to fight him. He has a personal quarrel with Muhammad Buhari. Face your personal quarrel, but don't jeopardize the movement. Don't jeopardize the emancipation of Nigeria from the oppressors. There is no truth to that allegation. NSAS is a spontaneous people mass movement. There is no leader. And when you listen to worry, if you are sure of your allegations, name names, give dates, give places. Now look at it now. This government is so desperate to stop the NSAS protest. If indeed they paid, they tried to bribe the leaders of the NSAS protest, what would have happened? They would have exposed them. They would have leaked information to the media. They are working through people like Omoya Lesu or trying to discredit the movement, but it's not going to work. My name is Renan Omokri and I endorse the NSAS movement. I'm not a leader of NSAS. I didn't originate it. I endorse the NSAS movement. Thank you.